Hey everybody, this is Therese Paler, your Chief Beat Writer for the Kansas City Star. And this is my quick breakdown of the Chiefs' keys to winning for tonight's big Thursday night showdown against the Denver Broncos. I'm going to try and keep it to two minutes. Let's get going. All right. First thing you got to do tonight if you want to win, snap this 0-6 streak versus the Broncos is protect the edges on offense. You got to respect 94 and 58. That's DeMarcus Ware and that's Von Miller. Both these guys can bring it off the edge. 58 still in his prime. Has elite burst off the edge. He can cause real problems. 94 is not in his prime anymore, but he can still bring it. He's got great juice, great turn off the edge. You've got to respect their speed. And they've also got a couple other young pass rushers too. It's Shaq Barrett and Shane Ray. So they got a bunch of guys that can get after your quarterback now. So what you got to do is protect that edge, and you got to respect their speed. Now, when I say protect the edge, I mean do, do doing different things. Running back has to be aware, has to be will, will, willing and ready to chip. Tight ends have to down block, be willing to chip and pass protection as well. Give these guys some help. Uh, you, you've got Donald Stevenson, the left tackle. He did a fine job last week. No reason to think that won't get better. Um, same thing with Ja Reed, provided he starts. Uh, both those guys did a nice job a week ago. Uh, they, they should be up to the challenge, but they're going to need some help. And one thing Andy Reid can do to help them out is continue to get the football out quick. Last week, J.J. Watt caused some problems because he's an outstanding player. But one thing that the Chiefs did is call a lot of quick passes and throws into the flat. A lot of quick tosses. Uh, do that again. Use the quick tosses as an extension of the running game and see where that gets you. But you can't be holding the ball in the pocket against these guys. Otherwise, they are going to collapse if they're that good. Second thing, uh, you got to pressure 18. Now, this is an obvious thing, but there are different ways to do it. I'm going to give some credit to my friend Nick Jacobs from Time Warner. He pointed out in the Ravens game a week ago uh, where, where they faced the Broncos, one way they got pressure on 18 is you pipe in the A-gaps with blitzes and then knowing where his checkdowns are. Okay, If you know where Manning's checkdowns are, you can rush, you, you can beat him to the spot break up the pass or make a big play. That's how you get to this guy. I've seen the Chiefs try to pipe those A gaps before. In the past, Manning's been able to get the ball out quick and adjust. They've got to do better at actually getting home this time. And one way, one, one thing they might have going for them is that unlike the past, I don't know if 18 can still chuck it deep. He was a little wild on some of his deep throws against the Ravens a week ago. If he can't hurt you, on those deep throws down the sideline, that's going to help you, and that's going to take away one of his options to beat some of the blisters that you guys like to do. So, yeah, I mean, this is an obvious thing, but you got to get home with some of your stunts and blitzes, and your corner's got to be ready and willing to sit on some of that, that, that short stuff that the Broncos like to throw out into the flat and the shorts out of the bunches and that kind of stuff. you got to be, you got to trust your eyes, and you got to make the play on those short routes that you know Denver likes to run. And this last thing's pretty simple. You gotta take your shots. And that means, in a lot of ways, and that means multiple things. The first thing, obviously, uh, you're only gonna have so many chances to go up top against Denver. But if they do play press man on the outside with their two outstanding corners, Chris Harris and Aqib Talib, and you see one high coverage, you pay Jeremy Macklin 55 million. You gotta take some shots and see if Alex can go up top to him at least once or twice. You gotta loosen up that coverage if they play tight. And the last thing, when I say take shots, I mean in every area. These guys are 0-4 against the pay. These guys are 0-4 against these cats, man. Uh, you know, under Andy Reid. And I've seen Denver come into Arrowhead Stadium and beat them up. Tonight, when I say take shots, that also means get in there and take your shots when you can. Establish a physicality. Show you're not going to be pushed around anymore. Show you're not going to let Vaughn Miller to spear your quarterback. Come out and be physical. Take it to these guys as opposed to having them come take it to you in front of a national TV audience. If you want to if you want to take the crown for them, from them, you got to take it. They're not going to give it to you. This is the game to do it. Um, so that, 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 that so that, that's what I mean here in take so That means be physical, play hard, get after it, and also it means get downfield, try and get something going with Macklin. See if you can do that. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Should be a heck of a game. I know you guys are probably out there tailgating right now as I record this. So let me get on ahead to the stadium. I appreciate it. Keep going to KansasCity.com for all your Chiefs news. This is Therese Paler. I'm out. See you next time.